And so what we're going to talk about next is, well, what can I do with that table in Q? Many, many things. All right. The thing we're going to show now is what I referred to earlier is QSQL. It's a SQL-like syntax that allows you to do queries against the table. You will probably, when you start, think of this as SQL, where you're querying against rows and fields. And you can get a certain way by doing that until you hit the wall and it doesn't make any sense to you because they're really vector column operations. All right? So here we go. If you've seen SQL, this should look fairly familiar to you. You can just say select, and we'll say, well, I don't know, let's just say date, time, sim, and price um, from the table T. And it scrolled off the, uh, off the screen, but you can see. Uh, it wasn't a very useful query. I just omitted one column and returned it back. But we can do something more interesting. We can say, show me the date, time, quantity, and price where sim equals, remember symbols have this funny back ticky thingy in front of them. OK, so there it picked out the ones just for Apple. So it actually did that query against 10 million items and picked out only the Apple. Let's see how long that took. Here's a little built-in feature of Q. Any statement that you execute, if you put backslash T at the beginning, it says, evaluate the statement and time it. Tell me how many milliseconds it takes to run. So what else can we do? Well, let's talk about a few other Q operators on lists. These are pretty easy ones, right? If you have a list, you can say, give me the first thing in the list. Right? You can say, give me the last thing in the list. Right? First and last. We already know about max and min, right? We've seen them before. They're, they're, they're management renamings of things that have scary symbols in them. But we saw how those are worked, how those work. All right. Now we can actually do a pretty cool query. All right. So now we'll construct this query. Select, open is the first, right? I mean, the opening trade is the first trade. Close is the last price. I actually have to say the first of what. Now we're going to group by time within date. Right? You know that from SQL queries as well. From T, where the sim is AAPL. And you can see it did that grouping. It again scrolled off the screen. If I want to see that, I can say, remember the trick? Just show me the first five. That's our friend the hash operator. Thinks for two seconds, and it says, OK. It actually grouped. It did the, the, the filter by Apple, and then it did the group by time within date on 10 million items, computed the open and the close. All right? So we can do the same thing, open and close. We can now say low is min, high is max of price. And now you see. We've done this. Right? Open, close, low, high, single line, couple seconds. Mm -hmm.